Hello everyone, welcome to this video in which I'm going to talk about my BMAT taking experience 2021. Well, technically I took it in 2020, but this was for medicine admissions in the UK for 2021. And a bit of background information about me. My name is Rosia, if you don't already know me, welcome to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. I am planning on applying to medical school. Why did I say that? I mean, I have applied to medical school in the UK for this year. I'm applying to do the normal five or six year undergraduate medicine courses. And to apply to these courses, you need to have fulfilled some criteria, such as doing entrance exams. And most medical schools in the UK use the UCAT as their entrance exam, but some, such as Leeds, Oxbridge, and Imperial UCL, and probably a couple more, use the BMAT, which stands for the Biomedical Admissions Test. If you haven't already seen my UCAT tips video and experience video, I suggest you check it out over here or maybe here. And I wanted to talk about my BMAT experience this time. My reasons for taking it is that three of my university choices are requiring the BMAT compared to one of my university choices that requires the UCAT. I applied to Imperial College London, uh, University College London, no UCL, I'm going to call it UCL because I don't actually know what it stands for, and also Cambridge Medical School. I took the BMAT on the 4th of November and I got my results on the 27th of November. And the preparation was definitely a journey and I am looking forward to sharing my preparation tips in further videos which I will be detailing my best section 1, section 2 and section 3 tips but this is just a general overview of what sort of resources I used and how I found the whole experience. Starting off with the, the timeline of my preparation, I actually started preparing in the summer between year 12 and year 13. It's weird because I actually started preparing before I started preparing for the UCAT even though the UCAT was a lot earlier because I hadn't originally intended on taking the UCAT and I knew that I wanted to apply to some BMAT schools. So what I did was I was able to find a big folder and I got my dad to print out all the past BMAT papers, section one and section two and section three and I put these in this folder and separated them with post-it notes so this is a fat folder and I think I managed to do all of the section one papers about before the half term I think I finished all the section one papers of past BMAT papers and I only did a few section two papers from here because and I will get onto this later but Medify kindly gave me a BMAT subscription which actually saved my BMAT and I also recommended it to two of my other friends and one of my friends who I recommended Medify to for the BMAT actually just got into Oxford so if that's not a testament to Medify then I don't know what else is. So I just printed a lot of paper which is kind of a waste but I tried to do it so that there were two pages on each page and I worked through them. I timed them from the very start and I also marked them and also check them with some BMAT past paperwork solutions which I bought off Amazon but if anyone wants this then DM me and I can like sell it to you for cheaper if you want. I also had this book. I honestly didn't use it much for section one and section two but I used it a lot for section three by reading their example essays and how else I prepared for section three was writing essays with my friend. Basically we picked an essay title and we both wrote an essay on the essay title and sent it to each other to mark or just to read and that friend actually got something like 7.3 on both sections and then 4a on the essay so and I also recommended him to use Medify and that means that Medify is great obviously and the reason why I say that it really saved my Vima is because it gives you all the past papers for all the section 2s, section 1s and section 3s 
of the BMAT for every single year and not only that you can do it as many times as you want to whilst marking it and then it automatically marks it for you first of all second of all it also gives you the work solutions and those work solutions are in my opinion a lot clearer than a lot of the solutions in this book so I used quite a lot of the Medify solutions instead when I didn't get what this book was saying sometimes. Also not only that you can do each paper multiple times so you can see your score improve as you do each one and that just really helped me because I could do all the papers as many times as I wanted to and that really helped me with section two because I was struggling on the science so much. I just do lots of Medify questions and that really helped especially because this year the BMAT was online so it was just nice having done lots of practice papers online already so I already knew the format I was accustomed to looking at a screen and writing and working down on plain paper on my own and on top of that they also have a bank of amazing questions which I used a lot for section 2 practice. I think I did all of their physics and quite a lot of their maths chemistry questions and all of their biology questions which was so helpful and they also contained work solutions. So I cannot recommend that enough and I'm just so grateful for Medify for existing. Along with my past paper books and preparation. I also used a blue maths book which I did a lot of BMAT notes on because another resource that I used was Ali Abdal's BMAT course and um, to be honest my honest review of it was that it was really helpful because it told me that I needed to download the BMAT official specification and um, revision guide which I had no idea existed beforehand but I think that you can get all the information on the course from reading the actual BMAT revision guide but I just didn't know about that revision guide before which is actually free on the Cambridge admissions testing website and basically on my big blue BMAT book I named it Rosia's BMAT prep and I just put I don't know, I just wrote a lot of notes on it. So I wrote BMAT physics equation to learn. That's the first page. And then this page was just an A3 piece of paper with lots of physics on it from the official BMAT physics revision guide. And I just took lots of notes from there, if you can see, which you can't. But I mean, if you desperately want to see it, I can always like send you a scanned copy if you email it to me. And what else I put on this note, on this book, was just notes from the whole specification of every single topic in section two. So I wasn't missing anything. Because even though it says it's GCSE standard knowledge, actually like it's kind of a combination of all the exam boards. So you need to make sure that you actually know everything that you may not have learned. For example, in my AQA GCSE specification, we actually didn't really learn too much about the kidneys. So I had to take notes about the nephron and stuff like that. So not only did I use this book for notes, I also used it for going through my mistakes and answers. So as you can see, this top says B, or you can't see, but it says BMAT 2013 review. So I just did the section two for 2013 and on Medify. And when I marked it, I went over all the answers and wrote down my mistakes and how to actually get to the answer on the page. And this is BMAT 2016 review. And I just like review it and just write down my mistakes. I didn't really go over the review, it was more of the action of writing down the review that helped me remember my mistakes the most. And that in a sense was how I prepared for the email. This was a TSA paper which I did. <gasps> Sorry, I just remembered the massive tip is to use TSA papers. Please just do all the TSA papers. Don't even bother with the past BMAT section one papers. Like just do all of the TSA papers if you have the time. The one mistake that I did was I focused too much on BMAT section one papers, but because they changed the section one syllabus, so now it's literally the same specification as the TSA papers. 
So I really recommend you to invest time in doing the TSA papers instead and once you run out of the TSA papers go on to the BMAT section one pass papers. So that is just my general experience of taking the BMAT this year so thank you for listening and just my overall thoughts and feelings is that it was definitely tough preparation but it wasn't like it was unmanageable or really really hard like it was hard for me I wasn't getting great scores at the start but it's really satisfying once you see your scores improve and with Medify you can really see that because it shows all your previous past paper attempts and how you've improved as you've done more papers so that is just my general reflection on taking the BMAT. Hopefully I won't need to take it again because it does require quite extensive preparation and if you're taking the BMAT this year then I really suggest you take it seriously because the amount of time you spend preparing really does correlate with your actual scores because they've done research on these sort of things and you don't need to go to a school that helps you prepare to be able to do well because you've got resources such as Medify I'd say it's totally worth it and I wish you good luck use all the resources available such as the past papers Medify especially for the past papers so you don't have to print out a massive folder like I did and also use the actual official section 2 guide which is on the Cambridge admissions testing website. I shall link everything I've talked about below if it's online and I'd just like to wish you all a good luck and if you have any tips, if you've already done the BMAP then comment them down below so that other people can share the good news of preparing for the BMAT and all the tips and tricks that we've learned along the way. Thank you for listening. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.